Interview and job search strategies that work. I'm here with Sunit today. How are you today, Sunit? Hi, Gary. I'm good. How are you? I'm good, man. Thanks a lot. You know, I really appreciate you coming on the podcast. Um, it's, you know, it's been a while since we've talked a little bit. Uh, I, how are things going? Uh, can you tell me about, like, um, your, how did you get start with your, started with your current role? Yeah, Gary. Actually, I started with the current company uh, seven years back. So still working with the same company because the work is really good. Uh, every day we have like challenging jobs. There's a lot to learn. So I still kept uh, working with the same company because before this company, I used to change job frequently, like two years, three years, something like that. But uh, here there are so many opportunities, so many new things to learn. And there are people like very experienced people so there's a lot to learn there's a lot to share with them so like we have a team there of 22 people so we share with our ideas and we discuss the things like if any challenges are coming uh, we schedule a meeting and then we discuss everything among the team and like what our actions can be done so that kind of role uh, you really like it and uh, you tend to go with the company so that's the reason I'm still the same company. <laughs> so I, I think you answered uh, my next question. It was going to be what excites you most about your, your ch chosen profession. Uh, but uh, can you talk a little more about that? Like your, what, what excites gets you up and says, yeah, I love this type of stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> Actually, I'm more of a, like uh, any challenges come, I try to learn from that. I try to try to learn new things. I try to get into new things and new technology. So in this company, I've learned like a lot of technologies. Before that, uh, I was just into mostly routing switching. And here I've learned everything like security, all sort of firewalls, most, most of the vendors, load balancers, proxy servers, even the servers, Linux servers, so many things I've worked here. So, there are like everyday challenges, like new things we came to learn. So that is the thing going on. Based on your, um, based on your experience, like you, you know a lot. I know that you know. Um, you took in CCIE training, you know, test training. You've taken Red Hat training, uh, RHC, the best Linux, um, all these other things. You know, what ex what you know what what would you say to someone who's like working in McDonald's or the equivalent there, who's just getting starting out and like wants to, um, wants to get a job in your field. What, what advice would you give him or her? Yeah. See, the beauty of our field is very, uh, like, uh, we don't need like a core degree or something to get into the IT industry. Okay. So like there are multiple vendors. So I would like, if someone is working in McDonald's, and they want to switch into IT industry. There are a lot of opportunities. And I know people uh, who have like from different streams, totally different. I know the guy who are into marketing and from marketing, they are coming into IT because there are a lot of opportunities and there is a like, different path. So people can get into the like starting from the very basics, like Compute Plus, like uh, CCNA. And from there, they can build their career. So because once they are this field, they themselves will slowly learn like what field they can choose. Like when I take my example, when I entered into the IT industry, I had done just CCNA. Okay. Then slowly, slowly, I came to know like there's a Linux server and there is a like uh, popular certification RSC. So I cleared that RSC. That gave me a lot of opportunities. Then I came to know about other technologies. So like slowly, slowly that foundation was built. So it led me myself to take whatever the opportunities like I like. Was then I had an interest for firewalls. So any per person who is like working in McDonald's, I would suggest them if they want to get into the IT industry. It's not like a very tough job. Only thing you should go with your basics, learn your basics very well. Start with some basic certification. Once you're done with that certification, you can try to get an industry or maybe you can try to um, set a home lab and do practice more. 
or maybe you try to get a hold of some small small projects using those projects uh, you build your knowledge and then you can slowly get into it industry and get a job for yourself and that is what i suggest to any person from a different background who wants to get into the it industry see jo koi bhi ek tum different background se hai jo koi bhi jaise mcdonalds mein kaam kar raha hai ya fir koi aur में काम कर रहे हैं और वो आईटी इंडस्ट्री में आने चाहते हैं तो उनके लिए मेरा सुझाव है ये कि उनको सबसे पहले क्या करना है एक बेसिक कोई भी सर्टिफिकेशन करना है या कोई भी एक छोटा सा प्रोग्राम करना है जैसे कि सीसीएमए है या कोई लिनिक सर्वर जैसी ट्रेनिंग करनी है या माइक्रोसॉफ्ट विंडोज है जो कि उनको एक फाउंडेशन देगा एक बेस देगा एक आधार देगा जिसको कि वो यूज करके फ्यूचर में कोई भी एक प्रोजेक्ट कर सकते हैं किसी कंपनी के साथ या वॉलेंटरी किसी को गाइड कर सकते हैं और या फिर घर पे एक लैब सेटअप कर सकते हैं तो उसका फायदा क्या होगा कि धीरे धीरे उनका जो नॉलेज है वो बढ़ेगा तो उससे क्या होगा कि धीरे धीरे जब उनका नॉलेज होगा वो इंटरव्यू क्लियर कर पाएंगे और वो धीरे धीरे वो एक अपने लिए एक जॉब भी ढूंढ सकते हैं सो एक बेसिक जॉब जब उनको मिल जाएगा तो वहां पे उनको इंडस्ट्री में एक्सपोजर मिलेगा तो उस एक्सपोजर से उनका नॉलेज और धीरे धीरे बढ़ेगा तो उसको यूज करके वो अपने लिए फ्यूचर में एक अच्छी जॉब ढूंढ सकते हैं तो मैं ऐसे कई लोगों को जानता भी हूँ जैसे कि जो डिफरेंट किसी और ही फील्ड से में काम कर रहे थे मार्केटिंग में थे सेल्स में थे तो उन्होंने भी धीरे धीरे स्टार्ट किया है और धीरे धीरे अपने नॉलेज को बढ़ाया है धीरे धीरे छोटे छोटे सर्टिफिकेशन किए हैं छोटी छोटी कंपनीज में काम किया फिर उसको यूज करके धीरे धीरे वो आज की डेट में उनको सात आठ साल का एक्सपीरियंस है दस साल का एक्सपीरियंस है और वो अच्छी कंपनी में स्टेब्लिश है सो so, तो जो भी कोई एक डिफरेंट बैकग्राउंड से आना चाहेगा तो so उसके लिए भी एक अच्छी अपॉर्चुनिटी है आई इंडस्ट्री में क्योंकि इसके लिए आपको कोई ऐसा नहीं है कि आपको कोई आ, कोई डिग्री करनी है कोई भी डिग्री रिक्वायर्ड नहीं है आप कोई भी एक बेसिक सर्टिफिकेशन की नॉलेज लेके आप इंडस्ट्री में आ सकते हैं आईटी इंडस्ट्री में आपको स्टार्टिंग मिल जाएगी और तो उसके बाद अपने इंटरेस्ट के अकॉर्डिंग आपको जो भी फील्ड में जाना है आप जा सकते हैं आई रियली अप्रिशिएट यू कम ऑन द पॉडकास्ट रियली ग्रेटफुल दैट यू आर टेल मी टेल पीपल हाउ दे कैन देन रीच आउट टू यू हाउ कैन दे कांटेक्ट यू या गेट इट दे कैन रीच मी ऑन माय लिंक्डइन आईडी आर दे कैन रीच मी ऑन my twitter id i will share with you the my ids in the detail for like if they want to get in the industry if they like want to know how to start okay so uh, i can guide them i can give a like basic uh, path like how to choose and uh, how to get into that so jo koi bhi uh, different background se hai aur wo uh, it industry mein aana chahta hai it ki job karna chahta hai तो वो लोग को मैं हेल्प कर सकता हूँ वो मेरे ट्विटर आईडी पे मुझसे कांटेक्ट कर सकते हैं या फिर वो लोग मेरे लिंक इन पे मुझे कांटेक्ट कर सकते हैं फेसबुक पे कांटेक्ट कर सकते हैं तो उनको मैं एक बेसिक आइडिया दे सकता हूँ कि कैसे उनको एक डिफरेंट इंडस्ट्री से आकर एक आईटी इंडस्ट्री में कैसे उनको एक स्टार्ट लेना है और फाउंडेशन बनाना है और धीरे धीरे वो अपने लिए कैसे आई इंडस्ट्री में जॉब बन सकते हैं